Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we left off, uh, we had just made our first discovery. Defeated Alfonso and taken his ship and all of his loot. Now, we're exploring the skies of, of Ar Arcadia. And we got into a random battle and the guy ran away. God damn it. How was that fun, Ica? We didn't actually get anything. We got some magic experience. Now, we have fish here. We can capture fish, and we can use them for all sorts of various things. We can eat them for health. We can give them to our cook, and our cook will reward us with potions. Um, we can also apparently get a new title. Vase the Fisher King, which is only in Legends. It wasn't in the original. Right, uh, let's go for magic. Let's try some magic anyway. We can get this thing before it flies away. Oh, it's using Pyre against us. This is bad. Oh, yeah, magic hurts in this game. Oh, okay. Apparently it's resistant to magic. Son of a... Bitch, and they run away. Yeah, those things suck. They're very hard to kill. But you know, we get any magic experience, so you know, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, so we have to capture like a thousand fish to get that title, which obviously we ain't gonna be doing, you know, anytime soon. But we're gonna scoop a few up. We can sell these as well. Uh, but I'll do most of that off camera. So let's get back to Pirate Island. Oh, these things are actually quite tough. Let's go for it. Wow, that hurt. Well, that didn't hurt, I should say. Yeah, these things really fucking sting. So we might need to do some healing. Wow, 60 or damage. I think this thing is actually... Not too far away from being as powerful as the actual boss. Let's try some magic. See if we can get Pyre on his ass. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of that. Moons, get me Not sure if he's very magic resistive. No, no, he's not. Actually, did a lot of damage. So we're going to have to use magic for those things. <laughs> Finish him off with a crit. A crit of 172. Ica, you beast. That was, that was most definitely fun. Yeah, we actually get a lot of experience for killing those things, considering. Considering they're like base enemies. Right, anyway, let's get out of here. I believe there's like another discovery here somewhere. If not, it doesn't matter. We can always come back and we'll find them. Sure, there's a discovery. So you can actually raise and lower your altitude, which does come into play a little bit later on. I know discoveries are kind of dotted all over the place. Ah, look at that. We have another ship. Let's go investigate that ship. These things shouldn't be too tough. I do love that attack he has with his uh, cutlass there. That long range attack. Well, that was easy. Oh, well, we're going to keep progressing with our magic. That's fine. Let's go check this guy out. Merchant ship. Say, you must be members of the famous Dine Clan. We've been hearing a lot about you guys lately. We hear you've been recently stirring things up over Valia. Keep up the good work. We're behind you all the way. Aww, that's cool, dude. But you could have given me some, you know, like, valuables. Could have given me some loot. Anyway, this is Pirate Isle. This is our home.
Hey, Fina, how are you feeling? I'm feeling much better. Thank you for your concern. <laughs> no problem. I'm just happy to see you're well. Looks like we'll be reaching the island soon. Island? You can see it right over there. It's our base. Pirate Isle. Pirate Isle. It's some ship we have there. <laughs> because, of course. I mean, where else were we going to dock? Just hollow out the entire mountain, or the entire boulder that we live on. Quite a little setup we got here. They've got to be very strong chains. Just saying. Ah, the music. Not a bad haul. Timus the Gunner. Weapons, armor, gold. Now this is a great catch. One of our best yet. I'm Mabel the Raider. Tonight we should celebrate. Fire! Yeah! Well, Fina, this is what we do. What do you think? <laughs> well, it certainly looks challenging. <laughs> Challenging, huh? Well, now you mention it, it isn't easy, but it's fun. Yes, murdering the Empire is fun. Excellent. <laughs> that grin, I love it. <laughs> so this is our base. Pirate Island. We've got some things to explore here. This is the underground port inside Pirate Island. Uh, from the outside, this island looks like a quiet, peaceful village. But the inside of the island is where our headquarters is located. Let's just tell her everything. Sure, we don't know her. There are armories, shops, and even a tavern inside here. Come on, we'll give you a tour. Phase! Come to my office immediately and bring that girl with you. Vase, I wonder what that was all about. I'm not sure, but we better hurry. You know how my dad gets when we're late. Okay, so let's have a little explore. Man, it's been years since I've been here. It's like putting on an old comfy pair of pajamas, you know? Lovely. Let's go. We might as well save the game whilst we're here, just in case we fuck things up by picking the wrong choices again. Because I think there's quite a few of those choices. But we shall uh, endeavour to pick the right ones. Look at all that armour and weapons and goods and guns and bombs and knives and explosives. Excellent! Exactly what you'd expect. One thing I will say, this game feels like it runs a lot smoother on the GameCube version. Uh, it was okay on the Dreamcast, but there was definitely some kind of choppy parts, especially in that intro, which is not here on the GameCube version. You know, the GameCube was uh, monumentally more powerful than the Dreamcast, so that's not surprising, but still nice. Ben the Lookout. My job is to guide the albatross into the underground entrance so that it can dock in the harbour safely. 
We use flag signals to communicate to each other over vast distances. Right now, I'm coordinating the loading of supplies into the albatross. Yeah, you do that, dude. Good, uh, good work. Oh, there's a chest up there. This is where we store various ship parts that we steal from enemy ships. These boxes have been sitting here for as long as I can remember. I don't even think my dad knows what's piled up here anymore. But I suppose it's better to have more parts than not. Exactly! Redundancy. Phase. Redundancy is king. I don't think there's anything over here. I'm sure there is little bits and bobs scattered around. This is the tavern, I believe. I <laughs> love the value in soldier. Air pirates. Cheers! I saved some booze for us. For God's sakes. I like that tankard. Ha! <laughs> Loka sure does hit the spot. Captain Dine really does know how to pick his loquat berries. This stuff is good. Yeah, it's been a while since we've taken over an Armada flagship. We deserve to take a little break now and again. Hmm, should you be sitting here drinking loco while the rest of us... Uh, with the rest of us, when you've got a beautiful, hard-working wife waiting for you at home? Hmm. Hey, there's nothing wrong with relaxing with friends after a hard day's work. Got a point. Oh my, this place sure is full. You know, this is our tavern. They serve all kinds of drinks here. Nectars, juices, loqua. Uh, excuse me, but what exactly is loqua? What? You really don't know what loqua is? Well, uh, I don't know exactly, but it appears to be a really good tasting drink of some kind. Everybody seems to be drinking it so fervently. It must be delicious. You want to share a bottle of myrrh loco with us? It's made from loquat berries and moonstones. It's just a juice, but it tastes great. Ah, horse shit. They're drinking some kind of fancy moonstone enriched ale. They're pirates, for God's sakes. No, 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 no. We don't have time to just sit around right now. We have to go talk to the captain. Why? Are we not supposed to be here? Well, Captain's always getting on our case for being late and stuff. I really don't want to get in any more trouble today. Yeah, yeah, my dad can get pretty worked up when he's mad. We wouldn't want him to have a heart attack now, would we? <laughs> You're so mean to your dad. You know that face? Come on, we should probably get going. Your dad's waiting for us. <laughs> yeah, the, <laughs> the chemistry between those two is pretty good. It's actually held up quite well. I guess we can't talk to the drunks. Yes, we can. Plundering treasure is fine. But just once, I'd like to find a well-built, handsome young man as treasure instead of the unusual... My God, Mabel! Of course, if I did that, I would just be a black parrot. Black parrot? A black pirate instead of a blue robe. Well, I suppose that means it's off limits. Jesus! Go, uh, go have a word with yourself, honestly. All that smut. Hatch, the deckhand. You're the first visitor we've had in a long time. Make yourself a home, miss. And don't be afraid to ask for anything you need. We blue ro rogues are friends to any travellers of the skies. Well, if you're an armed traveller with gold, it's a different story. Ha! <laughs> yeah, alright, settle down, Patch. Ha ha ha, it's been a long time since we've seen the Valuans get their butts beaten that badly. Good job, Vase. And while I'm in such a good mood, I think I'll go up to the training center above ground and have myself a good workout. Yeah, well, I hope that's not an innuendo for something, but sure. Alright, these guys are getting drunk and horny. Let's get out of here. Okay. Better go find old Captain before we get our butts handed to us. Alright, dude, you like, you shit yourself. You okay? Landis, the navigator. Hooray, we're home! You know, there really isn't anything else quite like the feeling you get when you reach your home port. Uh, yeah. So, the weapon shop. 
And Zack the weapons merchant. <laughs> Come right in. This is a weapon and armor shop. Sorry, but I'm going to have to charge you even if you're a fellow air pirate. I have to go to a lot of trouble to get my stock. Wait a minute, you mean we go through a lot of trouble and chuck it in the stock room and you sell it back to us? Hmm, scam. You certainly are. Bit of a pirate, aren't you, sir? Uh, talk to Zack. Most weapons are forged out of moonstones. Well, it's not the only thing used, but it's one of the main materials. And since weapons are made of moonstones, they can be affected by other moonstones if used properly. To learn all the details, ask at the training center that's located above ground. Yeah, he's just going to talk to us about magic. So we have like a paltry amount of gold here. Um, so we can buy new weapons and stuff like that. We are not going to because we're poor. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, you really are a bit of a rogue, aren't you, dude? I think this is the item shop. Erin, the item merchant. Oh, hello, Vase. Do come in. See anything you want to buy? Let's talk to her. Unlike spells that require MP, if you have a healing crystal, you can recover your he HP anytime and any place. Some of the tougher air pirates refuse to use them to save themselves, but I say it never hurts to play it safe. Yeah, I'm a hard ass. I'm not going to heal my wounds. I'm just going to, you know, lay here and bleed to death because I'm that much of a badass. Uh, right. So we can buy Sacra Crystals, Magic Droplets, and Cura. So they restore 500 health. Uh, and these crystals that record... Ah, so these... Right, so Cura uh, cures status effects. And that only restores 1 MP. That's not a lot. That is really not a lot. Okay, so items themselves aren't actually that expensive. You know, some games, items are really quite dear. Other times, items are not. And I don't think you're limited with how many you can hold either. It's like 99 of each. Something like that. Whereas, again, some games are limited. This one isn't. Kind of like the uh, Final Fantasy games, where you can have like 99 of everything. I like that. And of course, money's not a huge thing in this game either, because later on you can grind out plenty. Ah, this is the sleeping quarters, huh? I guess the guys get pretty thirsty at night. Why else would they bring a whole barrel of loquat into their sleeping quarters? Oh, well, yeah. Matthew. Yeah. I haven't been home in such a long time. Please, just let me sleep. Uh, sure thing, dude. Weapons are set aside here in case of emergency. We've all been trained to spring into action at a moment's notice. Yeah, not if you're packing away barrels of grog at a time. Alright. I'm not sure if there's anything like stashed around. There was on the Dreamcast version, but your VMU would beep that was the case. Vase and Ica are reporting for duty. We've brought Fina, like you requested. Hmm. You're a little late. I'll let it slide this time. Come on over. Young lady, I'm Dine, the captain of the Blue Rogues. There are a few questions that I want to ask you. Will you answer them for me? Of course. I've been sailing for a very long time, but I've never come across anyone wearing clothes like yours. What country are you from, and why are you traveling alone out there? So we can sit quietly and listen, or we can defend her. We're going to sit quietly and listen, because that is the right choice. Captain Dine, you worry too much. Fina is just a normal girl. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Silence. I care. I am the captain. <laughs> I am the captain here. <laughs> it is my duty to protect the safety of my family and my crew. If this girl is a danger of any sort to you or any of my men, I cannot let her live. 
but, but, you know, it is your turn to speak. Yeah. You know, I, I cannot say. Why is that? Is it because we're air pirates? Don't you trust us? <laughs> Loaded. No, it has nothing to do with that. I thank you of all my heart for saving my life. But I cannot tell any living soul about the purpose of my quest, even if it means sacrificing my own life. I have no intention of endangering any of your lives. If you do not believe anything that I say, please believe this. Hmm. All right, then. Yeah, looks like I lost this one. Yeah, Dain kind of gives up pretty quickly. I understand your dilemma, and I can see your eye. Uh, in your eyes that you're true to your word. Although we're air pirates, we also have a strong sense of honour. You do not need to divulge the details of your quest. Understand that you now have my trust. Be careful that you do not lose it. Thank you so much. Captain Dine, thank you kindly. I will not disappoint you. Guys, Eka, bring the girl, Fiona, topside, and give her a tour of the village. Aww. Now we can drink ale. Now that's more like it. Way to go, Dad. You're the best. Okay. Not Dad, it's Captain. I swear, how many times do I have to remind you? You're excused. Don't be late for dinner. I bet that's one thing that they're not going to be late for. Right, okay. So, let's go talk to Daddy. Hey, Daddy. Now listen up, Vase. There are times when something other than brute strength or sharpness of mind is demanded of a man. Sometimes you have to have a firm grasp of the entire situation at hand. That is when you need to learn how to be a swashbuckler. Ah, this is where he's going to tell us about this. People will notice how you behave in various situations, and you'll begin to earn a reputation based on those actions. That's why you need to try and be as adventuresome as possible. As adventuresome? As possible, without forgetting your leadership responsibilities, okay? Yes, Dad. Now, uh, where does it say? Party spirit is eight. We've got gold, 56 minutes, journal. I'm sure. So we've got all the, these are all the discoveries we can make. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Um, sure, somewhere. Equipment, magic, items, super moves. Right. So we could potentially buy that. Or well, the Moonberry, but we're not we're not going to buy that just yet. Vase takes a dispense uh, dis a defensive stance, countering all enemy physical attacks for a full turn. It's not bad, actually, but uh so, what have we got? We need one Moonberry for that. Ica spins her boomerang, summoning a vortex of flames to strike all enemies in a line. That sounds quite good. We're going to get Alpha Storm. Okay, that seems to be a wise investment. Alright, well, I'm not sure where it says... What our rank is, but we do actually have a rank. And uh, we can rank it up. Okay, so let's go. Now let's head. Hello. Ah, how do we get down there? Because there's something we can actually. How do we get behind there? Might be downstairs. There's also treasure there. There's little bits of treasure hidden all over this place. Aha! What's this? The bookshelf seems a little loose. And I can hear the sounds of wind coming from behind it. I remember. I remember things about stuff. So, we can go down here. And I think there's like money or something down here. I actually have the official strategy guide for this game. Uh, I've downloaded it. Because I'm not paying £536 for one. Aha! 
But it's not super useful. Like, okay. So there we go. 150 gold. Let's get out of here. I think it's time to head upstairs. Yes. And go check out the island. Right. Let's go. Daddy not going to moan at the fact that we just robbed a secret stash of 150 gold. Admittedly, 150 gold in this game is not a huge amount. But, you know. Luke, Captain Dine, said the girl. I mean, Fiona is permitted to wander freely throughout the island. So I unlock the door. Also, there are two treasure chests in this underground port containing emergency supplies somewhere. You might want to look for them. Well... Okay. Now we know there is one over here. Well, we just got that one of a hundred gold. Can't remember how to get that one. We will get it, just not yet. Uh, so technically we have one of those. I think we need come back here later to get that last one I guess I could do a little bit of exploring whilst we're here okay so after doing some reading we can't get anything else yet there's probably gonna be lots of cuts in this series but that's fine All right, let's head out into that nice fresh air. Guys, go on ahead. I have to stop by my house for a second. Why, what's wrong? I just want to freshen up. Don't worry, I'll catch up with you guys in a few minutes. See you at your house. I love the music here too. Right, let's go exploring. Wow, I remember being so excited to get to a place like this. Around 27 minutes, we can do a little bit. It's every air pirate's dream to be a swashbuckler, but you have to do more than sail to become one. You have to live as one in both your actions and your words. Only true swashbucklers can become great leaders. Yes, ma'am. Oh, hey, there, Vase. I heard that you guys rescued a girl from the Valer uh, Valuans. Yep, let me introduce you to her. Hello, it's very nice to meet you. My name is... Fina, I'm very grateful for all the hospitality everybody's been showing me. Well, well, aren't you just the sweetest little thing? Well, Fina, it is our pleasure. Just relax and make yourself at home, okay? <laughs> nice catch, Vase. I guess your work has its perks, huh? Uh, yeah, nah, nah. Anyway, let's go. What have we got in here? Please do not step on the garden. Vegetables are an important source of nutrients for sailors. Everyone takes great care to make sure and grow them properly. Wow, well, we're only going to step on some of them. We've got one chest here. Sacra crystals times three. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, we just step on them a little bit. It's easy to get scurvy when you're always out sailing. It's hard to get enough vegetables. So that's why pickled turnips are so important. Yum, yum. Pickled turnips. Delicious. So, what's next? Have a look inside this house. Hello, Grandma. <laughs> She's actually called Granny, too. Brilliant. We're able to live the way we do, thanks to the blessed moons. The moons provide us with moonstones that keep our ships flying and provide us with fuel for fires to keep ourselves warm. We truly are blessed. So... Moonstones, huh? We make weapons out of them, we fuel our ships out of them, and we burn them. Fantastic. I like these moonstones. This smell, oh man, this has to be salted fish. I regret even looking in here. Oh. Ugh. Oh, no. Nope. Uh uh. Nope, nope. Give, give me the pickled turnips, please. <coughs> Hey kids, Lindsay. Oh, Vice, you're back. Welcome home. We're all playing hide and seek with Pal. You should play with us too. 
Uh, nah, I'm good. Pow, 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 pow. Oh, my. Quiet, pow. I told you not to bark at guests before, right? Pow, pow. I, I'm sorry, he just took me by surprise. He's actually really cute. I guess, on your island, you live with other animals. Um, yeah, I guess. You don't have pets where you come from? Well, I, uh, not really. Is it that unusual? I'm so sorry. It's just everything seems so different here. Don't have pets? What the hell's wrong with you? Hey, Vase, we're playing hide and seek. You want to play with us? If you can find all three of us and Pow, I'll tell you a secret. Uh, sure, I suppose. Yay, all right, so you're it then. When we say we're ready, you have to come and look for the three of us and Pow. Yay! All right, we're ready. Come and find us. Yeah, all right, dude. In in time. So this is the combat arena. Tim is the gunner. Hey there, Vase. Would you like me to give you a few pointers on hand-to-hand -hand combat? Uh, not really, but go on. Actually, hey, could you teach me some combat tactics? I think I need a few pointers. Okay, well, the first thing you need to learn is how to effective, to use effectively in battle is your party's spirit. You can think of spirit as your entire party's fighting energy. You use it up whenever you cast spells or use super moves. During a battle, everyone in your group uses the same pool of spirit points. That means that you can have somebody like, say, Ica, for instance, focus and gain spirit points for the rest of the party. And then you, Vase, can use those spirit points to unleash a powerful super move. Just remember, strategy is key here. And another thing, you can use your spirit points all you want. You will gain a little bit at the beginning of every round. So go ahead, use your super moves as often as possible. It will make your battles much easier. Ask about weapons. Could you teach me a few things about weapons? The weapons that we use are made from moonstones, right? That's right. And because of that, assigning different colored moonstones to your weapons will change their properties. A weapon modified by a red moonstone has the powers of fire, and a weapon modified with a yellow moonstone has the powers of lightning. By knowing your enemy's weakness and choosing the color of your weapon wisely, you may be able to do greater damage to your enemies. Uh, cool. No, it's okay. I think I know enough to be all right. Yeah, sure. I suppose the best way to learn is to get into a real battle situation. Anyway, well, I hope you actually know what you're doing. We know what we're doing. Kind of. Boris the Gunner. If you learn to use your magic and super move skillfully, your fights will become a whole lot easier. I can teach you the basics on how to use these if you want. Uh, go on. Um. Can you teach me anything about magic? From what I can tell, it's essentially a kind of power drawn directly from the different moons, right? I suppose that's the easiest way to put it. But one thing you need to remember is that true power behind magic is your party's spirit. Spells only take up one MP every time you cast one. However, each spell takes a different amount of spirit points to cast. So it's safe to assume the more spirit points a spell requires, the more powerful it is. In other words, since you're going to use 1 MP to cast a spell anyway, you might as well cast a spell that uses the most spirit points. Since your spirit point regeneration, uh, since your spirit points regenerate a little bit at the beginning of each round, it's more efficient to use as much as you can. Magic is divided into six different types. You can gain experience in a type of magic depending on what color you assign to your weapon. So if you want to learn a specific color of magic, you should change the color of your weapon to that color. Ah, <sighs> ask about super moves. Can you teach me anything about super moves? What exactly are they? To put it simply, they are special techniques. Some of them are, are attacks, some of them are defensive techniques, and some can even heal your party. But unlike magic, super moves are unique to each person. Also, they don't use up MP, but instead they use up a lot of spirit points. They are quite powerful, but since they take up a lot of spirit points, you need to learn how to use them as effectively as possible. Oh, one more thing. If you ever come across a fruit called a moonberry, consider yourself lucky. You can eat a moonberry. You can learn a new super move. Some techniques require more moonberries than others, so use them wisely. Alright, boss. I think I know enough to be alright. 
<laughs> Alright then, but just remember, it never hurts to ask a question. Even if you can't figure something out. Just come back here, okay? Alright, dude. No worries, man. Thanks for your advice. Um, now... I think it's about time we saved it. Because we're easily clocking up 35 minutes now. Jesus, where does the time go? Right, so I mean that's a little bit of this island explored. When we come back, we've still got plenty more of this island to explore. So, till then guys, thanks for watching.